Today we've got real mechanics from Australia and we're gonna break down some videos of the most extreme problems you can face when driving down under. Also, we're here at World Time Attack in the radio tower. So if you hear a bunch of loud cars, sorry. First clip. Oh, well, is that someone else? It looks like a, a Commodore. It's like a VK, VB. I'm not really into these things. <laughs> what kind of car is that? It's a Commodore. Okay, I thought yeah. so. So yeah. that's probably what, mid to late 80s, early yeah. 80s? Yeah. Fake number plate. <laughs> that's not real. Sure. You're pretty much labeled a bogan if you drive this car. Oh, okay. If you have bogan. Yeah, like... we call them rednecks. Rednecks, okay, yeah. yeah. Whilst we call them bogans, like this car's probably had 300 grand spent on it. So I got Aaron here from Precision Racing. If you haven't heard about it, search us up. We build fast cars. Heck yeah. Yeah, that's sort of the bogan car culture. That's a summer that's car, man. It's just there, probably to do burnouts. Yeah. I'm Rocky Ray, I'm from Pack Performance. Rotary Workshop in Sydney, been around for 30 years. Summer that's, it's like a yearly pilgrimage for the rev heads uh, yeah. in Australia. Right. It happens in, like that. in the ACT. So it's Australian Capital Territory. That's the capital of Australia. They converge there. They get like 2,000 plus entries for that yeah. event. And it's just like three days of mayhem, man. And like these guys probably build their cars and drive them once a year. Guys just Never chopping. fuel injected. Never all carb? Yep. Yeah, yep. you can see the big carbs yep. there, the big uh, air yeah, cleaners on top. fuel injection. <laughs> and, um, and always blown, right? Became... And probably a little bit of throttle and brake, just to yeah, to accentuate a little bit. Accentuate a little bit because yeah. yeah, it's all about the show, of course. And I mean, you want to get served fairly quickly there, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, is this a normal day down under, or something out of the ordinary? I think it's something that would happen typically at an event. Yeah. Um, so, no, not normal day. <laughs> You're not going to be at Macca's and expect to see that coming through the drive-through. All right, let's check out the next clip. Speaking of burnouts, I think I know what's coming here. Yeah. Jesus. It's pretty cranky. All right. Looks like we got another one of these Westies. Is this a <laughs> yeah. Westie? Yeah, I'd call it Bogan. A Bogan? Yeah, but usually Westie. Yeah. Guy's just ripping this. This looks like some sort of old muscle car. I like how there's two guys in there. Yeah. You got to have your boy. Oh, Look damn. at the flames. <laughs> so I don't know what the bull going on there. Something's on fire, but well, it looks good. Everything's on fire. Everything's on fire. <laughs> Fill his tires with gasoline. That's crazy. Mm. So that's a uh, burnout competition in Candos. Yeah. Candos is like a country town in New South Wales, Australia. Okay. The aim is to do a, a burnout, continuous smoke, and pop them tires. It's smoke. It's how yeah. well the guy can drive. Uh -huh. Speed on the entry. So like how fast they come in, how close they get to walls without touching. If you touch, okay. you're going to lose points. So it's a mix of drift and burnout, kind of. Yeah. 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 Yeah, apart okay. from yeah. Yeah, a bit more wankerish. So what do you think? Is a burnout car erupting into flames like that? A strange event or just another day down under? Just another day down under. If you're at a burnout event like that, you're going to see flames. It's the norm, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Next clip. All right. We're in a shop. We're under a car. Oh, what's a red back? That's a poisonous spider. Sure. Anytime you leave your car in the shed for a couple of months, you get back to it, they're normally there. He's one of the local residents. Uh-huh. You don't die from it. Oh. You just smash them? Yeah. They don't get through my tough skin. <laughs> Have you ever been working on a car and had a bunch of spider webs and been like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, they like to hide in dark spots. If you live near the bush or, or, or whatever and it's parked, you end up opening the door and end up in the car somehow. You're nice. driving down the street and they're running up the A pillar. You get a snake come up and hide up into the engine bay, right? And like, you get a brown snake, they're like probably the third most venomous snake in the world, right? Jesus. So <laughs> anything that can kill you, it's here. Like I know. Red back, funnel webs, sharks, yeah. rocks, snakes. I've had my eyes out while I've been here. Another yeah. day down under. Another day down under, no big deal. All right, this next clip features a famous Nissan Skyline GTR that makes over 2,500 horsepower. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Boost. Oh, the June too. I've seen this car at Croydon. Dang, look at it. He's throwing out. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Ooh, did you scrape it? Nah, he held that on. Oh, he got the he got He's the bumper lucky. a little bit, but damn, he is lucky. Very lucky. So that is June two from Croydon Racing, and yeah, yeah making about twenty five hundred horsepower. What do you think happened there? What what caused that thing to get so unsettled? Well, man, when that power comes on and that thing start to talk, Steve, you don't want to do anything except drive in a straight line. Right. right? Oh, very lucky. Like a tire like that with a surface like that, with that much grip, you'd expect it to roll. And it did, it did lift up that rear right-hand side. I um, can't believe how much grip that track has, yeah. where it literally bounces the rear end around. Correct, catches. yeah. Oh, what do you think, is that? 
Just another day down under or some pretty crazy shit? I'd like to say some crazy shit, but that's really another day down under. This is fairly normal. So if you're going to go down there, you've got a high chance of seeing something like that. Let's see the next clip. This is a tiny bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> How? Is it bad? Where the hell is she at? Is Looks like she's in the middle of the freaking ocean. I have no idea. <laughs> How can I live, love, love in these conditions? How the <gasps> can I live, love, love in these conditions? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep the seat out, though. <laughs> See that? <laughs> they got their priorities right over <laughs> <in> there. <laughs> Gotta get the chicken out. Yeah. She's about to get, oh, she's out there in dark. Oh, she's about to get lit up by some skeeters, dude. What do you think happened? Is there like, did she park the car there and a flash flood happened and get yep. shot? Oh, she was trying to just make some kind of river crossing or something like that. But there are a lot of river crossings out here, right? I mean, I see so many trucks with snorkels. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that car doesn't have a snorkel. No. Our city in Sydney, you can drive an hour from the city and you're in something that looks like this. Right. So it doesn't mean you're far away either. But she's got her priorities right, like she's got the KFC yeah. on the roof, so yep. that could be worse. Yeah. Man, I've seen a lot of people drive cars that they got no business being where they are, and they're up there in like in a normal yeah. sedan car, like yep. how the hell did you get I've that I've seen that up as there? well. We've been in like, you know, real big trucks going up these trails, and then you know, the Honda Civic will come the other way. Yeah. Like, oh, how did you get it? <laughs> Some people are willing to test their luck, which yeah. I can appreciate. Yeah. Another day down under? Yeah, another day down under. All right. Yeah. See the next clip. Oh, I've seen this clip before. How to kill a Land Cruiser in six seconds. I have not seen this clip. GSL, he's about to suck some water up, it looks like. Is that an air box? Yeah, looks like it. Well, just as we talk about snorkels, looks like this guy should have had a snorkel. I don't know if I've seen a Land Cruiser yet without a snorkel. Yeah, that guy f***ed up. I don't think he thought at all. It's obviously sucked in water through the air box yeah. and then filled the engine up with water. The water doesn't compress, it ends up going in the engine. Hydraulic lock. Hydro lock. The rod comes up and uh, something bends yeah. or, or pops out. Yeah. <laughs> that's why when you see these guys, they pull the spark plugs out, hit the starter. Yeah. That's, shoots all the water yeah. out. All I've seen is cars out here with snorkels that I know have not driven. Never been in the water. Yeah. 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 Sometimes even two snorkels, yeah, just in case one blocks up. Oh, so it's more like an appearance thing. It's just showmanship. 100%. Okay. Well, where they were, it looks like it was uh, a normal road that had been flooded. So yeah. I reckon that guy got caught unaware. So that happens. I've seen this. I think it's another day. Another day, baby. Another day. We wish you well. Hope you got out of that scenario. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're making us look silly. Since 2015, two of Australia's biggest import brands, Kia and Hyundai, have been entangled in a class action lawsuit that alleges they knowingly sold defective engines to the Australian market. So let's see if this next clip sheds any light on this matter. I didn't know about this, did you? I didn't know about it either. Step in Australia with a bin full of blown engines. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that what you want to see? Mm. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Yeah, I'd say you got a bit of a problem. I am aware of this, yeah. They try and keep it on the down low, but yeah. I know they got they got lifter issues with them. They start to tick and they, they, they seize the lifters and stuff like that, so. I see. And they'll just do a crane engine. Sometimes it's cheaper to replace the whole engine than what it is to pay mechanical labor through the dealership, because that gets charged back for warranty. So right. it's like, you know what, change the whole thing. We're, we're yeah. covered now for multiple issues. It's not normal for that kind of stuff to happen with the established right. manufacturer. The key has also had some problem in the States yeah. where people are stealing cars with USB sticks. So. We actually made a video about it. Why did Kia put these in their cars in the first place? <laughs> as far as I know, they're looking after us, so they, they haven't turned their back on it. They're, oh, that's good. They're looking after the, the people that own the cars. And mistakes happen, but yeah. you gotta make it right. That's right. So you say, normal day? No. Not a normal day down under? Yes. Next clip. We have problems. For some reason, oh, this thing's now starting. That's about as much as I get what out of it. What is on the, the roof? There's definitely some oil on that one. This is just exhaust guns because that's a flip manifold, which doesn't fit properly. I think I've got to clean that. Oil. This is certainly a disaster. Is he, oh, is he, is he, oh, gun. Uh, oh. Come on, baby. Uh, 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 uh. Wow, that's one hillbilly right there. 
This is probably more bogan than the, the level of bogan that does the burnouts. <laughs> yeah. This is the bogan on a budget. Is that an offensive term? I've been wondering that, bogan. Uh, well, no, some people are proud to be bogan, okay. you know? Yeah, and I, I appreciate the style. Look at that clearance on the bonnet to quit that turbocharger and install for like what? two whole pieces. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a brilliant mind to yeah. make a wild piece of shit. He's zapping on spark plugs with an impact wrench, which is like yeah. rule number one. And I mean, that Falcon looks very high as well. I don't think he's raised it. Yeah, he's got yeah. 20s on it <laughs> with a Ram bar. Yeah. <laughs> Will you give us a rating on this car? <laughs> one to 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. Nice. Next clip. Is that a snake in there? <laughs> kind of snake? A little tree snake, yeah. Oh, a cute little guy. Cute little guy. Little yeah, he's all right. Little hey, little buddy. Yeah, he's pretty cold because the aircon's been on. Aww. Uh, you a snake guy? Don't so like snakes? I don't like snake. snakes, no. Oh, okay. Nah. Do critters get in uh, the AC vents? I've never even seen a snake in real life that's that small. <laughs> I think it's common to have snakes if you live in the outback or on acreage and whatnot. Uh -huh. They crawl up, they get inside near the air filters, wherever yeah. it's warm, because yeah, I want to yeah, try and yeah. keep warm. So if that little guy was in my vent, I don't think I'd be too frightened. He's cute. No, he's a tree snake, they're not poisonous, yeah. but if you had a snake like that, that size, that was a, uh, a brown snake. That'd still be a problem. He'd be a problem. Even when they're young, they're problems. What color are brown snakes? <laughs> <laughs> Just so I know. <laughs> so, normal day in Australia? Yeah. Duly noted. Yeah. Next clip. I need its dog chain over your fuel filter. That's because even that doesn't fit. We're gonna see how it goes. Well. I like that. Push. Yeah. The choker chain. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the that little safety boots there. <laughs> yeah. Pull it tight. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Wow. <gasps> Pretty good. Yeah. I love it. Oh, wow. She's so tight. <laughs> it looks like late at night. And he's just like, I just need to get this fuel filter off. I gotta get it off. Good on you, buddy. That's 10 out of 10 for me. I like that. If I get stuck again, I'm gonna try it. Australia, it's far from everywhere. Yeah. So you gotta be a little self reliant. You gotta be self reliant, man. We, whatever it takes, with a coat hanger and some rope or whatever, we get it done. Like necessity is the mother of all. That's right. <laughs> you know that's what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah, uh, I appreciate that. I think that's uh, part of what makes Australia so cool. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you like it, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you know every Every time we post a video on this channel, Real Mechanic Stuff. Thanks again for coming in, Rocky. Why don't you remind Welcome. the people who you are, where they can find you? Yeah, packperformance.com.au. Precision Racing on Instagram. Go check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of RMS. Follow me at Jeremiah Burton. If you haven't seen our other channel, it's called Donut Media. We just hit 8 million subscribers. Thanks Thank a you. bunch. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. See ya.